Honkai Star Wall has been out for an entire year and I've been playing every single day because I have brain rot because I really enjoy the game, even though it's a gacha game. Not saying that gacha games can't be fun, but most gacha games I've played, I usually get bored after a year, like Fire Emblem Heroes and Genshin Impact. Don't get me started on Genshin Impact. But turn-based games are definitely one of my favorite genres, so maybe that's why I'm not burnt out yet. But enough about that. Here's how my account is looking after one full year of playing. How much have I spent on this game? I'm not a whale, but I did buy 5 monthly passes because they are releasing too many characters that I don't want to miss out on. That's only enough for like one 5 star character, so it's still relatable, right? Anyway, these are my current jades. The starlight exchange I used once to buy a Chingchue, but now she's like E8, so it wasn't really worth it. I also bought some passes in the beginning because I ran out of jades for Silver Wolf. I'm probably only ever going to use it on more pulls because I don't need some of these light cones. You'll see why later. For the embers exchange, I only ever buy the pulls and the tracks of destiny, or balls as some content creators call it. Let's move on to my inventory. If you saw my most recent video, then you know how many character EXP books I have, and maybe relic EXP materials. Yeah, I have a lot, but it's not like none of my characters are leveled up, and I think I have a decent amount of relics leveled up. I'll, I'll show you later, but like why though? Why don't I just use them all? I literally have over a thousand of these things. Am I stupid? I mean, yeah, I am. But also, I have this weird obsessiveness with consumables where I like to have an excess of them, just in case I need them in the future, right? This is especially the case if I can't buy these items and they're limited. Like for example, Pokemon. If I find a Hyper Potion somewhere, I will literally never use it until like the Elite Four, where I typically have enough money to buy more. I do this in every Pokemon game I play, like Leaf Green, Emerald, Diamond, all nine generations. And if it's the Master Ball, then you bet your ass I'm never using that thing ever. And well, here we are in Honkai Star Rail, with this inventory being another instance of that obsessiveness taking place. You know what they say, bigger number, bigger dopamine. And I have 19 of these balls because I try to have above 15 before I use any and typically prioritize these on my 5 star characters over my 4 star ones. I have a lot of these ascension materials as a result of mint picking every day for the past 25 days now. Before I started mint picking, each material was at like around 3000 which I thought was pretty normal for a day 1 player. And then Akron happened and took away my life. My light cones. I don't have a single 5 star signature light cone because to me personally, I don't think they're worth it compared to pulling for characters. I know a lot of people would disagree with me on this like in one of my earlier videos, but I will die on this hill because my characters already do enough to clear both Memory of Chaos and Pure Fiction. I'm not a sweaty player, I'm a dirty casual. I don't care about zero cycling, I definitely don't give a shit about hyper focusing on only 8 characters because that's boring. Signature light cones don't change that much in terms of gameplay, it just makes my characters do more damage. If I want to do more damage then I'll just go back to the relic mines. I care more about the new teams I can create with new characters with new builds. But that's just my opinion, right? You do you and pull for whatever you want. But anyway, these 5 star light cones I got were from the standard banner and yes, I did get two of Bronner's light cone. Now I didn't know this at the time but you should probably keep like two of these light cones instead of superimposing them so that another harmony unit like Branya can use it. I only have two of the Herda Store light cones because the other ones are kind of mid and none of my characters need them, so I'm just saving for future ones. For the 4 stars, I think I have most of them besides the new gacha ones. I might also be missing some of the Forgotten Hall light cones too. That's pretty much it. Oh yeah, did you remember that I'm a hoarder? My relics. There really isn't much to say about it besides the amount that I hoard. Uh, I'll, I'll show the character specific ones later, but I keep most of the ones I level just in case. Other materials. I don't use any of these besides these two, which make trick snacks for Acheron mint picking. Same thing with consumables, I just use the ones that restore technique points for Acheron. Missions are... whatever. Valuables. I have a lot of relic remains too. I've only used about 500 of these and I think only 100 or so of these are from salvaging actual relics. I've never used self-modeling resin, I never really had a reason to. For jade feathers, I only use them to buy the self-modeling resin and relic remains because the other ones are easily farmable. And if I'm ever unable to complete one of the MOCs or pure fictions, then I'll still have enough to buy the future ones. I have 38 of these Herda Bonds because I'm saving for future light cones, like I said before. I also have a lot of fuel because I haven't really had a use for it yet. And I have a lot of these loosened afterglows because I do weekly bosses every week. Here's my profile, I have 36 characters and 508 achievements. Simulated universe. Every world is cleared with the highest diff- highest? 
highest difficulty. I 100%ed Swarm Disaster, but for Golden Gears, I completed mostly everything except for a lot of the advanced rewards, which I will do someday, but not right now because I'm getting my ass kicked. For quests, I usually do the story as soon as I can to avoid spoilers. I think the only companion mission I'm missing is the Black Swan one, which I'm just too lazy to do. For exploration, I have all the chests except for the Reverie one, since one of the chests is tied to a world quest and I'm just too lazy to do that one too. Memory of Chaos has been full clear after full clear since, I don't know, like nine months ago when I got Jing Lu. Same thing with Pure Fiction since the beginning of that. I know a lot of people are struggling with the current MLC 12 with Aventurine, so here are the teams I used. E0, S0, everybody except for Clara, who is E1, so don't worry guys, I'm so relatable. And finally my characters. Just want to say again, none of the limited characters are above E0. I am a totally relatable streamer, as they say. Anyway, let's start with the one, the only, the mint picker. Here are her traces. Her build's alright. She has an S2 good night sleep well. The headpiece is okay, the hands could be way better, the body is pretty good, and the boots could be way better also. I could use some fuel to farm some more, but she already does a lot of damage, so no need right now. The orb could be better and this link group is f***ing goaded. It didn't have crit damage until plus 3 and then it just rolled all into crit damage. Very relatable. Fire MC is just a debuff generator for Acheron. I aim for 134 speed but I kinda want her at 144. She has trend, that's pretty much it. Here are her stats, her traces, and her relics. Kafka. Fermata is just a placeholder, but if I'm not using Acheron, she'll have good night sleep well instead. Here are her stats. She's missing like 6% effect hit rate, but I can get that from one of her traces. And here are her relics. I usually run her with Gwenaifen and Ruan Mei, so if I can get 4 more speed on her, then she'll basically be at 160 speed, thanks to Ruan Mei. Speaking of her, here she is. She has an S5 Memories of the Past. I used to have her at 160 speed and 150-ish break effect, but I did some swapping and now she has 270% break effect with 154 speed, which is kind of bad because the faster she is, the less uptime on her ult. I know about the slow run May tech, but I kept this build anyway because I think it's funny. I'm missing a break effect trace, so she could be at 280, but she's not level 80 yet. I'm actually mint picking her levels. <laughs> anyway, here are relics. Fushuan is just Fushuan. I use Trend if she's with Acheron, otherwise Lando is choice. I'm on her at 144 speed, so she's a little slow, but she gets the job done. I just slap her onto any team and I don't have to worry about sustain. My Silver Wolf isn't really finished. I'm kind of running a break effect build on her, but my main goal for her is to hit 160 speed one day. Brownie I don't really have strong feelings about. Her crit damage is low, but she has 144 speed, so it's fine. She has a lot of effect res for some reason. The rest of her stats are low because she has a level 40 pass and future, and I'm too lazy to level it up. She never dies anyway, so it's fine. Typically, I run her with Jing Lu, who is faster than Branya, so... Sila is amazing. I love her wacky design, her colors. I don't care what anyone says about Sila, about how mid she is. She has been carrying my ass since the beginning, and I will never let her go. Ching Lu, she has also been carrying my ass against ice weak enemies and sometimes she just brute forces through everything, even if they're not ice weak. She has an S2 secret vow if Clara has Ion, otherwise I use that instead. She's faster than Branya, which is good. Clara. Clara is probably the most fun I have with a character in this game. I really enjoy follow up attacks in this game and Clara's counter is just amazing. I wish she had just 7 more crit rate, but it still does a job. I typically run her with Sparkle, Tingyun, and Lynx, or Palin instead of Sparkle. It depends on the enemy team. Lynx is my second sustain unit. She is always able to keep my teammates alive, so I'm not sure if I need to pull for another sustain. Plus, she synergizes really well with Clara. She's too speed away from the breakpoint, so I need to do some more farming. Tingyun is Tingyun. She's good on any team. She has 151 speed, but thanks to Von Wack and Dance Dance Dance, it's basically pseudo 160 speed since she can then move 4 times in the first 2 cycles or something. She also does pretty decent damage on her own too thanks to 4 piece Musketeer. 
Sparkle is just a better Bronya, no doubt about it. Although her crit damage is kind of low, she's at 161 speed with Bronya's Lycon, which is all I really cared about. I run her Mono Quantum with Sila or on a Clara team. I don't use Doctor Ratio. Maybe I would if I had Topaz and Aventurine, but I don't. At least not yet. Pela. She's got 160 speed and above 67 effect tier rate. I run her either with Acheron, Clara, or Jinglu. Gwenaifin is just a dot enabler for Kafka. Not much else to say. Chingchue. Honestly, I enjoy using her despite the RNG mechanic. I don't actually have a set for her. I just yoink Sila's relics and slap it on her. She does have her own body piece, which is whatever. I usually run her on our mono quantum team with Sparkle. I used to use Bailu back when the game started, but I benched her once I had Lynx and Fushuan. Welt I don't plan on using until I get him E2 for Acheron. I use Himiko for pure fiction and she does her job. I'll start don't use, but she's at E4. Serval I stopped using after I got Kafka. She was never really properly built, but maybe I'll come back to her someday because I really like her design. Perda, just like Himiko, I use in Pure Fiction. She has some relics, but not a finished one, so I just yoink Jing Lu's relics. Gallagher I actually plan on using in the future, but he's not finished yet. He is E6 though, thanks to Acheron Banner, so... The rest of these characters I don't use, but I'll quickly skim through their Traces and Eidolons. And that's it. I don't have Japard or Yanqing, thankfully. I do wish I had a Japard though. I have 8 limited 5 star characters if you don't count Dr. Ratio. I've lost like 4 50-50s total and they were on Silas, Silver Wolves, Sparkles, and Akron's banners. Hopefully I don't lose on Robins, Topazes, or Sam's. I'll probably continue spending $5 a month since they keep releasing banger ass characters. Anyway, if you made it this far, thanks for watching. I appreciate you. Subscribe if you want to listen to me yap some more. That's all from me. Peace.